In the days before electricity was invented, people would go to bed when the sun went down. Today, when people want some light, all they do is flick on a switch. The question is, do we get enough sleep? Do you get enough sleep? How many of you wake up in the middle of the night? I'm glad I'm not alone. Madam Toastmaster, Toastmasters, and guests, today I'm going to find out whether or not you may have a sleeping problem. And if you do, I'm going to offer some suggestions to improve your sleep. In addition, I'm going to tell you about a secret tonic that you can take before you go to bed that will be guaranteed to have you snoring in no time. Did you know that eight hours of continuous sleep is actually a modern idea? Roger Eric, who studies sleep at Virginia Tech, says in the period before electricity was invented, a person would go to bed usually between 9 or 10, sleep for four hours, wake up for an hour, and sleep another four hours. If we only knew this, perhaps we wouldn't be so distraught if we did wake up in the middle of the night. In fact, in the Journal of Psychosomatic Medicine in 2010, they stated that the worst sleepers were those the ones that were upset when they woke up in the middle of the night. They thought that was it that if they couldn't go back to sleep and tomorrow would be a disaster. The fact is, is that everyone needs a different amount of sleep. We don't all need eight hours. Some of us do fine on six and a half and others need nine hours of sleep. So if you wanna find out how much sleep is good for you, you might do what the Women's Health Journal of Harvard suggests, and that is to keep a sleep diary. In this diary, for two weeks, you would record when you went to bed, when you got up, and what was the quality of your sleep. After two weeks, your natural rhythm will emerge. Okay, so say that you you do have a sleeping problem, and you'd like to know what can you do to improve the quality of your sleep. Well, let me share with you a few things that I do myself, and I found them on health.com. The first is take a hot shower. That relaxes the muscles, and it prepares your mind mentally that you're going to go to sleep. Second of all, Read something calming when you're in bed, like the Toastmaster's Officer's Manual. And I kid you not, when I went for training, my trainer said, if you want to get a good night's sleep every night and you want to fall asleep quickly, read that manual and keep it by your bed stand. She was right. The third thing is keep your bedroom as a bedroom. Don't paint it orange and don't make it look like an office. Keep your TV out of there, your laptop, your phone. Put all your electronic gadgets in the other room so they don't tempt you. And next, don't have a nightcap before you go to bed. Alcohol might help you initially go to sleep but it will affect the second half of your sleep, and the second half of your sleep won't be as deep. And this goes for caffeine too. No caffeine after two o'clock. And finally, I'd like to share with you what you've all been waiting for, the secret tonic to a good night's sleep. Actually, it's an herbal tea, and it's not a secret. 
I found this recipe from a uh, botanist who is 81 years old, and his name is Jen Duke. And when I read his recipe, I got so excited that this spring I w actually went out and I got seeds and I planted all the herbs that he suggested. I now grow them and I brought them with me. And this is what goes into the tea. There are four things. One is a sprig of rosemary, which is good for the memory. Another is six leaves of peppermint, which is good for the stomach. And six leaves of lemon balm, which is good for anxiety. And my favorite, two tablespoons of valerian root. And that is what makes you sleepy. In fact, I've made a batch up just for tonight. And if you'd like to try it, if you're feeling all jittery about table topics later, you might take a taste of it. It's going to be in the back of the room. So, I hope you now are more informed about whether you have a sleeping problem or not, and you now have some ideas on how to get a better night's rest. And so with that, I bid you good night.